this is Moose Knuckle. Today I am going to talk about which tank lines to grind and why you should grind those particular lines based solely on retrofits. Now this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be grinding the tank lines that you like. However, this will maximize your combat effect and the effectiveness in the game because you're going to have the retrofits that you want that you need to boost your performance and perform better in the game. So quickly here we're gonna jump right into it go to our dealers. Go to our TDs in the Wolfing line. I'm gonna jump straight up to the tier 6 Antaro. Uh, I'm only focusing on the Mark 3's except in this first case because there's no Mark III advanced thermal sleeve at the time in 0.16. Says here Centauro 155, not yet in the game. Regardless, rate of fire increase 7.5%. That is great. At Mark II, regardless, great one to have. So start here, TD line. Gonna move up to the set 120 tier 7. Correction, a lab 600 at tier 7. Upgraded transmission, acceleration boost, Mark 3. There's the second reason to go up this line. Go into the M1128. Two more Mark 3s. Enhanced drivetrain, not the greatest. Get the turret traverse speed, which is nice. There's a better one I'll show in a little bit. Uh, max speed, eh, not the greatest thing. And that's why I don't think it's number one, but it's there anyways because over here we have the magnetic actuator. Damage and aim time. Bam. TD line. Four retrofits. Two of them are definitely good. One's excellent. This is a definitely go-to line to, to... I would say first one. If you're new to the game, or if you're not new to the game, and you haven't gone up here yet... Yeah, you, you have to. There's just so much good in this one that you can't ignore it. So, that's number one on my list. Number two, I think it's a bit of a three-way tie. So, go back to dealers here. Start with the Leo line. Some people love the Leo, some people hate them. I'll give you a reason to love them a little more if you don't already. Tier 7... I know a lot of people hate this one, but Chrome Barrel Lining Mark III, is that not worth going to it anyways? Damage, minimum accuracy, that's a solid retrofit to have. Going up to the 2A5 here, air induction pre-cleaner. This is probably tied for first in terms of mobility retrofits. You have acceleration, haul traverse speed. Even though mobility retrofits aren't the best, if you're looking to maximize and you have a mobility slot, you might as well use it. So we're going to jump over now to the Western European MBTs, or some people would refer to it as the British MBT line. So, go up to the Challenger, which is a great tank regardless, so most people will get it anyways. Best MBT at tier 7, hands down, in my opinion, including Mark III intercom systems for technology retrofit. 7.5% boost to crew stats. Can't beat that. The only other technology retrofits that really make a whole lot of sense here, the ones I'll talk about in a little bit, and they're more for scouting uh, view range type things. Going up to the area day. Mark III, Augmented Breach Lock, Rate of Fire and Minimum Accuracy. This is another go-to firepower retrofit. I would say must have. Pick this guy up as well. Okay, we're gonna swing over to the Shishkin line here for a second. High caliber light armor. Gonna go up to the Stingray 2. Of course, the lower tiers, they, they have the Mark 1s and the Mark 2s. I'm just hopping over to the Mark 3s. Here we have the Internal Hull Reinforcement. This is the only armor retrofit I ever use. I, I don't even touch the other ones. You may have reason to, 
but regardless, this is the number one. Must have 11.25% to your hit point pool. That That's giving you an extra couple hits, maybe a third or fourth, depending on your tank. The, the larger your pool is to begin with, the better of an effect this has. So, here you go. You, you got to have this one for sure. Okay, now we're going to hop on over to the BMPs. Not hit battle. Go to the Wolfies. BMPs, number three. The tier six. Augmented optics. Now here's the technology retrofits I'm talking about in terms of vision range. This one is a straight up 30 meter boost to your vision range. This could be a make or break in some situations in 30 meters that's a great one to have moving up to the 3m improved spall liner meh it's okay it's probably the second best armor retrofit you know if you feel like continuing up the line it's there but definitely at tier 6 the bmp3 that's a good one to have Okay, go back to Wolfie and our recon vehicles. And at tier 4, not a retrofit per se, but Juan Carlos Miramon, crew commander. That guy is probably the best for MBTs. Some could argue that regardless, he's a good commander. You should pick him up. Okay, go over to the VBL now. You have the enhanced sight interface. Again, a vision range boost of 20 meters. You get the little extra bonus of component saves at 12%. If you're kitting out for pure scout, pure vision range, you stack this one up with the recon package. That's an extra 50 meters. You know, you get a nice high camouflage tank, high view range. Add some extra camouflage onto it. You're you're peaking your scouting abilities to the max. Okay, now finally we're gonna head over to the BMDs. I'm just gonna line here. The fire support vehicles, if you will. Again, at tier four, we have Freya Holberg, another great commander. She's a bit of a do-all. Uh, some people use her for MBTs, some people use her for TD, skills, what have you. She can do anything, to be honest, and she is worth having around. We're going to go all the way up now. There's some there's some other retrofits in here. They're they're okay. Enhanced Helm Material, they're, they're okay as well at the Tier 7. That's moving accuracy rate of fire. That's good if you like to shoot and scoot. But more importantly... At the Ramka enhanced oil pooling <clears throat> that is honestly the only other mobility retrofit I would consider this one's the acceleration and the turret traverse opposed to the air induction pre-cleaner which is acceleration and hull traverse basically decide which one needs more of a boost on your tank your hull or your turret that one's up to you in any case those lines there, in roughly that order, depending on your play style and what you're looking for, those are the tank lines to go up. They may not be the tanks you want to go up, but if you want to be more competitive, you know, check them out. You know, even if you want to go up that the American line here, American MBTs, they don't necessarily offer the best retrofits. Another popular one. You got your T-Series. You know, they, they do have retrofits. You have the experimental propellant. Damaged, pure damage, which isn't bad. You can just do better. And that's why I made this guide. That's what I recommend. That's the best way to get the most out of your tanks, especially if you want to be competitive. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Tell me if you got any better suggestions. If you do things a little different. But that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you.